So we left off uh, the other day uh, um, when we were talking about securities markets. We left off on um, IPOs and secondary markets. So basically, securities markets uh, is a, a complicated topic. There are four types of markets: first, second, third, and fourth. Uh, the first market is the primary markets, which are the uh, markets for those companies that are initially going public from private status, which means that they are going to sell securities for the first time to the public. So we discussed about that um, concept which requires the underwriters, the investment dealers, um, and you've got uh, lots and lots of specialists coming in to help you as the company go from private to public uh, through the IPO. There are two types of deals uh, as far as uh, we discussed uh, for the underwriters. Uh, the bought deal or the best efforts basis deal and we discussed them in detail um, and we started talking about the secondary markets which means that once you have the stocks, uh, once you have the, the company go public, the stocks are now traded in the secondary market which is the stock market that, that we are uh, familiar with. So stock markets um, uh, basically help uh, investors deal with other investors and they buy and sell through each other. Uh, there are brokers or advisors that are involved in these activities. So a seller would have a broker uh, and a buyer would have a broker who would then uh, buy and sell for them b uh, based on instructions and directions from the client. Uh, there are certain types of um, examples. There are certain examples of stock markets by the way, stock markets, stock exchanges, organized markets, they're all synonyms for the same thing, uh, and secondary markets as well. So some examples are listed on the slide, uh, the TSX, the Montreal Stock Exchange, the Vancouver Stock Exchange, the Alberta Stock Exchange, the New York Stock Exchange, and so on. So these are quite famous ones. Um, the TSX is the biggest in Canada, the New York Stock Exchange is the biggest in the world. So moving on to the third market, the third market is what we call over-the-counter market. So in the third market, uh, we have those kind of stocks listed which cannot be listed in the secondary market for one reason or another. So it is also called an unlisted market uh, because it handles securities or stocks which are not listed in the uh, regular, the secondary uh, markets. This is for small companies who do not qualify for the large secondary markets at this time. Perhaps they will in the future. So, people, so companies can move from the OTC market to the secondary markets uh, and vice versa depending on their status um, of uh, uh, size. So some examples are the TSX Venture Exchange or the NASDAQ Exchange. However, in the past, um, in the recent past, they have all really merged together. So uh, now you see NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange operating uh, together at the same time um, rather than separately. So the lines between differentiating the secondary and the, and the OTC market have really blurred in the recent past. There is also a fourth market. This fourth market um, has uh, really no place. It is not connected to the secondary, the, the primary, the secondary, the third market. It is a, uh, a network of uh, high net worth individuals or, or companies uh, that deal uh, directly with each other. So they bypass markets, they bypass brokers, and they deal with each other directly. Um, and you know, there's not a lot of people listed on the on the, on on this list that they have. Uh, so you know, people like Warren Buffett would uh, really just go and uh, deal with. Um, uh, other people, other investors through the fourth market. Uh, it is obviously extremely rare in practice, so Warren Buffett usually does not go in this market. He would rather go to the secondary market to buy and sell uh, through his company. Um, how do we get an understanding of what's happening in the markets? So we have what we call market indices. A market index is for one uh, uh, stock market and indices would all obviously be for several markets. Uh, so what happens is um, each stock market creates an index or a few indices and the media follows it uh, quite extensively. This gives uh, public the awareness of what is generally happening in the stock market. So what happens is they take 
let's say in the case of TSX 300, originally they would have taken 300 companies and they would to mesh it together and see what's happening with those 300 companies as a group or every day. So if it goes up, the, the exchange would go up. The exchange meaning the index would go up. If it goes down, the index would go down and so on. So you've got the TSX 300, TSX 500, the S&P 500 and so on. Um, and in the past, they were separate for separate stock markets. Again, in the recent past, the last 10, 15 years or so, they're all really merging together. So S&P used to be for the US, now, uh, now it is also for Canadian markets and other markets as well. Uh, so it is usually just a generic, a general uh, purpose index and it explains to the investors, to the public, what is happening in the stock markets on a daily basis. Again, they provide summary of the market behavior on a given day. They no, no, no longer necessarily have to be uh, the companies in that market and they don't have to be the 300, for example. For TSX 300 doesn't mean the 300 companies exist. So the number of companies change depend on, depending on the formula, depending on the requirements of the markets. Um, remember, the main purpose is that for them to, dis, uh, to mimic the performance of the, um, of the market. So there are some other index in indices as well. Uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average represents uh, blue chip stocks in the New York Stock Exchange. So what is a blue chip stock? A blue chip stock is basically of a company that is well established, has a long history, um, financial history, and uh, is well respected. So McDonald's would be a blue chip, blue chip stock. IBM would be a blue chip stock, and so on. So uh, uh, Dow Jones Industrial Average used to be only for the industrial companies, the manufacturing companies, but I think in the, pa in the recent past, uh, there are other companies that have joined it as well. For example, uh, an example of an in industrial and manufacturing company would be GM. So in the recent past, GM has floundered, and I'm sure that other companies have taken over the stock, uh, stock exchange index. Um, and, and Nikkei 225 average is uh, from Japan, from Tokyo. So the Tokyo Stock Exchange uh, follows the Nikkei 225 average. Now, I've talked a bit about in the recent past, uh, there have been four uh, developments that have taken place uh, in the recent past. And